Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Ezra Bridger release in his Season 3 and 4 of Star Wars Rebels Lethal outfit. So, let's take a look. In hand, this Ezra figure is really solid. Uh, we're seeing a lot of the Black Series improvements in terms of our tooling as well as our articulation there and I think it comes together nicely uh, for a figure that I know many Star Wars Rebels fans have been clamoring for. Uh, we have previously gotten a Ezra Bridger release of his kind of earlier kitty look, um, but as the show kind of took a turn in season three and four, we now get this uh, kind of older, more mature appearance, which has a, a really nice likeness to Iman Isfandi, who plays Ezra in the Ahsoka TV series. But back to the figure itself here. We've got, again, some good articulation. You're seeing we've got uh, the double ball joint here being used in the neck, which allows for a lot of articulation on his head here. Uh, Ezra also comes with a couple of accessories. We have a nice DL-44 blaster pistol here, which has kind of a nice gunmetal silver paint look to it. Uh, this actually does fit within the holster he's featured with. And then we also get Ezra, and I guess later Sabine, lightsaber. So uh, we've seen a lot of improvements with our Black Series lightsabers over the past couple of years, and this one is no exception, as it does fit in nicely on his belt here, and also features that, you know, a little bit thicker lightsaber blade isn't quite so fragile. So uh, with that blaster pistol tucked in the holster, you're able to get quite a few nice either, you know, both blaster and lightsaber, or just one or the other sort of poses here. As we've got uh, some solid articulation on the elbows here, despite the fact that these are single jointed, which again, for Ezra's kind of season three and four appearances, there's a lot more, you know, flipping and jumping around taking place there. And I think this figure uh, is really able to capture those kinds of poses and that kind of essence. As one personal call out, I might have preferred a little bit more of a muted look on the orange there. I think that's really more a criticism of the, the Rebels color palette than the figure itself. Uh, and so I might consider doing a little bit of a wash coat on there just to get a little bit less vibrant of uh, a color for the armor and the outfit here. As I think, you know, the Rebels aren't always going to be wearing, you know, bright pastel colors. So I, I think a little bit more muted, perhaps a little less saturated uh, is my kind of preferred look here. But for this figure itself, I am certainly a big fan. We didn't see all that much of this appearance in Ahsoka, really just kind of, a, I think, a hologram appearance. So I am very much looking forward uh, to a potential Ezra release featuring his look from later in the series. But with all of that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you are a fan of this figure, if you've got it in hand, or if you'll be looking to pass on this one. And if you are a fan of this video, please make sure to check out some of the other content of the channel. We have other short reviews of our Black Series releases, as well as tips and tricks for making action figures of your own. So check it out.